St. Clair Panther Stadium for tonight's soccer matchup between the Lady Panthers of Upper St. Clair and the Lady Eagles from South Park. I'm Rob Mertz here with Norm Ebeck. How you doing, Norm? Good, Rob. How you doing? A little different look tonight for St. Clair. They're wearing uh, pink socks and pink shirts in honor of uh, breast cancer awareness. And I'm sure everybody's got somebody in their family, so it's quite a tribute that we have here going tonight. Yeah, it's great to see uh, this all come together here on, on what is the last game of the season for either of these teams. This is a inter-conference uh, matchup, AAA Panthers and the, the AA Eagles from South Park. Uh, so no, um, no implications as far as section records or anything on the line here. It's just a good opportunity for these two teams to, to get a quality game in. Uh, Prior to the playoffs for both of them, they'll both be heading to the Whitfield playoffs uh, starting next week. And Rob, are you okay? I, I listened to that Chartiers game on TV, and, and I thought that you were going to have a stroke there at the end of the game. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was pretty exciting stuff. <laughs> I, I just was <laughs> – I thought we won a Super Bowl. <laughs> but, no, nah, it was a big game. They, finally, they, they got into the playoffs, so it was a huge win for Upper St. Clair. Yeah, the girls uh, – I think deserve that win, and uh, hopefully they can make some hay going forward into the playoffs here. But we'll see how this game goes tonight. Panthers with the first touch of the game, and it's the always, clock starts. And it's always good to keep momentum going as you're going into the playoffs. Yeah, and you can see uh, here, at least to start out, uh, Coach Derda has pretty much, I think, her lineup in right now. One change to the normal, uh, or the lineup she's had the last couple games is Heather Godwin is out with a an injury, and so she's resting tonight. Across the back, we have De La Para, Hamill, Lackner, and Walnoa on the far side. Those holding mids, we've got Milkuzny and Erdman. Jordan Sellup gets the start at the attacking midfield, and across the front, we've got Belak, Hasco, and Rocks. So pretty much the same lineup that went the other night against Chartiers Valley and, and Peters the game before that. I was watching Heather in the warm-ups before the game. She doesn't have any uh, shin guards on, but she looks like she's okay. It's just a matter of precaution. I think that they're keeping her out so that they have somebody to play during the playoffs. They want everybody healthy going into the playoff game. So South Park here um, coming into this game. I believe they won their section and will uh, go into the playoffs as a pretty high seed in double A. So it'd be an interesting uh, contest here to see which which team can establish some sort of uh, rhythm early and ultimately uh, who can uh, get on the board first, so. No idea who we're gonna be matched up yet with Rob, right? No idea, I believe that the seeding uh, meeting might be tonight, so here's a long ball played by Milkuzny. Hasco giving chase. Yeah, so I'm going to assume having finished third in our section, we're going to play one of the number ones. And we'll, uh, we'll just see who that ends up being. I know if I was uh, a number one, I wouldn't want to have to play Upper St. Clair in the first round. This throw by Hasco comes a Belak at the top of the box, but ball's taken away from her by Davison for the Eagles. And De La Pera plays a long ball. And there's rocks on that far side battling. She wins a ball, cuts it back to her left, finds Milkuzny in the middle, goes to Erdman. South Park gets a hold of it though, and they'll try to clear down that left side, and they do up towards midfield, but while Noah's there, settles it, comes forward, plays long for Hasco, ball into the area. Emma's getting on the end of it. She shoots. That ricochets off the near post, still in play. It looks like it called goal kick. I'm not sure how that ball could have gone out of bounds if it came back in bounds off the post. Yeah, there's no way that ball could, if it hits the side of the net, it's gonna go sideways, not back into the field of play. So I think the ref missed one there. But um, anyway, back to play and the uh, South Park goalie comes up with that. The last three games, Rob, we've played pretty well. I mean, you think about it, we, we played uh, we played tough against Peters at, on their turf, uh, came back here and beat Chartiers. Uh, lost a tough one that was a Canamac, but uh, we're on a little bit of a roll. 
So you're right. I don't think anybody wants to play us in the first round. Yeah, there's a lot of, you know, got a lot of talent on this team. And uh, here's Belac playing down the left flanks for Hasco. She runs onto it, pulls it back, though. Has Olivia running through the middle, plays to her feet, has her. She tries to go through for rocks. Ball's going to get down to the end line, though, and just out before Maddie could get to it. Good idea there. I like the movement off the ball. And uh, that was good ball movement. And Maddie had a run going there with the ball just a little too hard and ran over the end line. So a goal kick from Mosey, the goalie for South Park. Just moseying along. <laughs> this game is mosey. Elena comes forward and rifles a ball over the end line as she was challenging that South Park attacker. So you know it's hard to keep up with these young bucks with the witty comments when they took over the game, but you know I'm trying. Ball off a wall nose head. There's Vitmeyer for South Park at midfield, but uh, Milkusny ends up with it. Comes near side for De La Pera. She goes long. Sellups there, wins a ball, looking for Hass, goes there too. Jordy gets a hold of it and passes square to Maddie. Has a lane on the overlap, but looks at Emma and she turns right in the middle. Gets the ball to her right foot, shoots. Oh, Mosey with a good save there. That ball Boy, went almost through got, her Almost hand. got behind her. Went through her hands and was really close to going over the line there. But uh, Great shot though. Really, she took that almost like she was in a phone booth when she turned and kicked that. She had uh, defenders on both sides. There's Rocks, tackled hard on the far side, but she comes up with a ball, turns it back to Erdman. Who comes back to Hamill in the middle. Hamill forward wide on the near side for Belak. She turns, dribbles to the center, plays a ball through, but uh, that is cleared by the center back for the Eagles. That's number 27, Emily Patterson. Ball now to Davison in midfield. She carries over midfield. Pass a little too far for Sarah Stanley, but she'll run on the end of it and corral that ball and play wide. Out of bounds on the far touch line. Here's Rocks applying pressure. Long ball played forward, and there's Hamill again to clear to midfield. Davison wins it. Cuts back to the middle. Plays wide on the far side for Kat Hartner. Off the dribble, crosses long into McMurtry, and she grabs that one. Will come forward and punt the ball towards midfield. Belak heads over for Hasco, coming to the Eagle bench. And that'll be a throw for South Park. There's Davison, touches over her head, past the on-rushing Belak. Bailey Milkusny, De La Pera long. And that's past everyone and into the goalie, Mosey. She just moseyed over and grabbed that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep them coming. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a whole lot you can do with Mosey. There's really only one <laughs> line of jokes that can go, right? There's that's about <laughs> it. <laughs> Although there is that online backup service, right, that they call Mosey, right? I, I, I you're not aware I, of that? I'm not, a, I'm not a techie guru, guru like you, Rob. I don't it's, have all uh, that, what, what, that yeah, stuff down. Well. There's Milkusny defending Stanley in midfield. She passes wide for Hartner on the far side. Defended heavily, and good job by Bree. Not allowing the turn there and ultimately winning the ball. It comes to Maddie. Central for Bailey, plays long. Down into Olivia's path. She's trying to run onto it, but South Park defenders there be a throw for De La Pera in front of the South Park bench. Goes short to Belak. Turns and plays to Hasco. Another throw coming up here for the Panthers. Olivia will take it. 
Down the line for Hasco, trying to get to it. Does, cuts back into the corner of the area on her right foot. There's, lays it out for Mokuzi. She shoots one time. A little wide. She had a good foot on it. She had a good chance there. That's a good idea. Here comes uh, Megan Epic into the game. <laughs> I'm standing right next to you. You can't pronounce the last name, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Megan in, and she's going to go out on the left where Olivia was. Olivia will slide into the middle at that attacking mid, and Jordan Sellup out of the game. Nine minutes gone, 31 remaining here, no score. As of yet, between the Eagles and the Panthers, ball misplayed there by number 15, Sarah Stanley, and Sammy Lackner will She's come forward off here. the dribble. She goes up to the side. Lackner again plays it back into McMurtry's feet. She one times it towards midfield. Ball uh, over the far touch line. And St. Clair throw. Yeah, well, no, we'll take this. Hamill over. Vittmeyer pressuring for South Park. And it'll be a throw in for the Eagles. <laughs> 30 yards out, the throw's taken. Headed over, comes towards. Hamill there in the back of the middle. Oh, she clears it, but not there. Stanley hits it on McMurtry. Oh. So uh, Boy, a missed clearance there. Right to number 15, Sarah Stanley for the Eagles. And uh, we're lucky that she couldn't do better with that shot. Kind of controlling the ball here and let something like that go in. That would have been, uh, been a big mistake. Sarah Stanley, I believe, the brother of Bill Stanley, who was the uh, standout javelin thrower from South Park who went to Ohio State oh, really? last year. He was set the national high school record for javelin coming out of South Park and went and is sort of lighting up the NCAA at Ohio State now. So. I think he's the famous Stanley family that makes uh, uh, tape measures and, and tools for Sears, too. <laughs> There's a long it? ball from Lackner. Oh, that's Craftsman. <laughs> Down a corner for Rock. She'll get on the end of it. Tries to cut it back, but it's be knocked out. Kick. Yeah, be a corner for the Panthers. So Milkuzny will trot over and uh, take this corner. Let's see if we can have a set piece here where we can put a header in the, in the, no, in the goal. You know, Kuzny, short, looking for Belak at the top of the air. He gets it over to her left foot with the first touch, but uh, Stanley wins that back, and uh, Wittmeyer will come out, but defended well there from Lackner. And uh, Bree played it over top, but no one moving for the Panthers, and Mosey will come out and pick that up. Good punt right to midfield. Davison flicks that header over. Ball played long into McMurtry. That's all the way from midfield by Cat Hartner. It's another great night for soccer, Rob. The weather's been cooperating so far this year pretty much all year long. It's There's Wittmeyer off of her foot. And Lackner clears. There's Davison. Good controlling touch there. Comes forward off the dribble. Plays wide. Outside backs come forward. Here's Stanley. Turns and shoots from a full 30 yards out. Um, and just not enough on it. Pretty easy save there for Sarah. There's Emma, wide for Megan. Ebeck trying to keep it in on that near side, but can't quite do that. They'll take a quick throw to Davison. Off of her foot to Mokuzny. She tries to switch fields, but uh, no partner no will come home. up with that. Yep. Ball long forward for this Hasco this from Lackner. Emma trying to run it down. There's Maddie on that side too. She will run it down. Keeps it in. Cuts it back to her left. Finds Erdman coming forward. Erdman, not sure who she was looking for there. Maybe Olivia went past her. 
So far, I think, you know, a little too much uh, of the long ball stuff for the Panthers. Need to try to try to work, to be a little more patient, work the ball, get it on the ground, see if you can string three or four passes together and go from there. Stanley. Off yeah, of her foot to Wall like Noah. Here comes Pasco trying to get possession into the area. She does have possession. Plays it back for Rocks. Cuts it in on her left to the middle to Belak. Back to her right. Shoots, but uh, she was falling down as she shot. And it just sort of goes weakly over the end line for yeah, a goal they kick. Yeah, kind of closed quickly on, uh, on Olivia there, and she couldn't really get a good shot off. Goal kick played short off of the Eagles, so it'll be a Panther throw on the far side. Looks like we got uh, Moitz going in. Leah Mertz coming into the game, <laughs> yes. And uh, Bree Erdman off, so Leah looks like she's gonna go in at one of those holding midfield positions. Belak has the ball. Drop, here comes Leah. Trying to win from Stanley, but uh, the Stanley's pass is too far. Comes to De La Pera. Ebeck turns right into the defender, though. It was marked there. She stays with it. 22 Tranter for, wins it for the Eagles. Comes to Wittmeyer. Wide to Tranter again, but off of her foot and be a Panther throw. De La Pera in front of the Panther bench. Down the line for Ebeck. Off of Megan, and it'll be an eagle throw. I see that Brianna is taking her shoe off, maybe get wrapped or something with her foot. Ball into Wittmeyer, trying to get past Hamill and get to the end line. She does, crosses. Lackner's there, though. Clears, but not out of the area. Milkuzny has it. Comes to Tranter for the Eagles. Milkuzny's still there, though, and clears up towards midfield. South Park wins it again. Into the middle to Davison. On the dribble past Belak, gets into towards the top of the area. Shoots from distance. Good effort, but uh, just a couple feet over the bar. Yeah, so I think the Panthers, uh, based on that effort from Davison there, they're gonna have to be aware of her shooting from distance. Yeah, she seems to be their, uh, their player on offense right now. She is the cousin of All-State midfielder for the South Park boys team, Brandon Walbert. And uh, soccer runs in their blood over there. <laughs> the Walbert and Davis. I can't family, imagine so. soccer running any more in anybody's blood than the Mertz family, Rob, <laughs> to be honest with you. Here comes Hasco into the area. Tackled though, she goes down. Ball cleared out, so we'll get a throw in the far side. Elena Walnoa to picks it up and will handle the throw in. Down the line to Maddie. She brings it to Olivia. Off the dribble, get nice work by Belak. Going to have a chance to cross. She does. Goalie mosey off of her line. Came. She did not mosey off her line. No, that, no, that was a pretty she came one. out quickly. I've been told to take it easy on the mosey in around, so I don't want to wear that one out. you got to save it for the right, right time. Hamill forward, ball off of her, it'll be a throw in the near side, Amanda Luffy. Davison again, midfield, touches over Milkuzny, but it comes right to Belak. Ball forward from Ebeck to Hasco. There's Milkuzny, wins the ball, and uh, chances, Panthers will have a chance to pressure here. There's Luffy in the corner, Ebex there, and Luffy kicks it out for a throw. There's Megan with the throw. Plays right into Emma. Off of her though, Davison heads to Belak, brings it down. Dribbles towards the middle, ball on her right foot, shoots from distance. That's gonna be wide. A wide. So fully uh, 30 yards out there. Olivia had a go and uh, just wide of the net. So goal kick for the Eagles. 21-45 left here in the first half. No score yet. Here's Hamill. 
Plays that ball out of bounds right into the bench of the Eagles, and Luffy comes over to take this. Throws short to Davis and tries to turn, pressured by Milkuzny. Eagles play through the midfield to Schultz. Here's Stanley, give and go on the outside with Hartner. Crosses in towards McMurtry, but no one there, and Sarah will just be able to grab that right out of the air and punts it towards midfield. Ball to Luffy, finds Davison, but De La Pere comes forward to win a ball. Here comes Belak. Luffy again to Tranter, to Wittmeyer, tackled by Hamill. Good job by Lauren there to win that tackle and come away with the ball. Yeah, we just are consistently playing it into their back four. Need to be a little more patient on the build up through the midfield, just find feet. Here comes Olivia. Looks like we got some space here, Rob. Through here for Hasco into the corner of the area. Emma's there, cuts it back out to the corner. Lays it back for Maddie, who crosses with that right foot in towards the back and post. In. It goes in. Nice Maddie rocks. Shot by Maddie rocks from over on about the, the eight yard line. So Olivia winning a ball at midfield, takes a few dribbles, passes into Emma's path, and she carries it into the box, but decides to cut it back to the corner and just lays it back right about the corner of the penalty area for Maddie, who just floated a ball right over top of uh, goalie Mosey. She couldn't get back to her, her back post quick enough and it went over her head and in the back post. So one nothing lead. Good job by St. Clair and a very nice effort from Maddie Rocks to give the Panthers a one nothing Brianna lead. Brianna must have her, her tape job done. She's back in the game, Brianna Erdman. Throw for the Eagles on the far side. Hamill clears, Hasco out to Rocks. Davison there defending for the Eagles. Schultz there, Davison's wide now on the left. Plays the ball towards the middle, but De La Pera volleys that back towards midfield. Eagles come up with it again to Schultz. Belak out challenging. Ball pass Davis and Milkuzny clears. Get through there, off through the defender. If she... There's Belak coming forward to the There's dribble, looking for rocks. A little bit too far. Yeah, ball too far for her. Goalie punts, comes to Ebeck. There's Hasco. The fights off the ball. The defender plays There's forward for space. Rocks into the top of the D, and defender kicks that over the end line. Will be a corner kick for the Panthers. So good combinations there from the Panthers. Word is that the uh, St. Clair boys team, who had a game at Ambridge tonight, has won that game nine to one. So uh, they've got one more game tomorrow night against Central Catholic. To finish every, their regular season. Every time season. I hear the boys score, I think, how much did my wife? Pledge for goals. <laughs> you don't want to know. So, uh, what, what is the total now, Rob, for the goals well, for the boys? Well, with the nine tonight, that's up to 87 goals. <laughs> 87 goals in the regular season. That is an astounding number. And one game remaining against a tough Central Catholic opponent. So, you know, the one question you're going to get, Rob, as one of the boosters is, can I get a receipt? <laughs> <laughs> I'm prepared to answer that question. Here comes Davison dribbling over midfield. Of course, we all, all know it's all, a lot of it's going to a very good cause. So, everybody's a winner with that one. I agree, Norm. Thanks for pointing that out. Yeah, we're, uh, we're going to be able to give a really nice fat check to a charity that does a lot of great work in right in our own backyard. So that'll be a great thing. 
far side now a throw in for the Eagles. Ball comes to Maddie, tries to find Emma, back to Maddie. Olivia in the middle. Dribbles pass one, defender, good speed off the dribble here. Nice little toe pass. Oh, there's Hasco back to Belak, shoots with that left foot. Ooh, oh, just wide. Just missed it. Good shot by Emma there as the ball got played into her to just yeah. find the-, the Right back, yeah, the seam there in the, in the middle of the, uh, right in front of the goal. Yeah, and uh, Olivia just continued her run and had a good opportunity there. I like the combination play, that's very effective. Here comes Walnoa. A lot of play down the right side tonight for the Panthers. We seem to have numbers over on that side too, Robin. It's, uh, we've got a lot of movement over there. Walnoa throws, back to Belak, touches over. Top, nice volley shot, but wide of that back post by a considerable amount. Good idea from Olivia. Um, she had a chance to run onto that ball and really get into a volley and just didn't quite get it placed get right. Jordan Sellup replacing Megan Ebick. Ebick is off, Sellup is on. Good header one by Belak there, right back into the South Park zone. So for the last couple minutes, it's sort of been St. Clair's game here. They need to press this advantage and, and try to extend their lead while they've while they've got a little bit of the advantage of play right now. Comes Hamill forward, ball skips off of her head, back into De La Para, who just wheels and plays it long forward. Davison pass off the mark to Erdman over top for Hasco. She's gonna be off sides here, uh, but no. On, she, the no. South Park player actually put her back on side. Another have ref was standing right there, so. You must have seen what you did, Norm. Mosey punts. Be a foul against uh, the Panthers and a free kick for South Park. I th is that the first foul? I think so, yeah. I think it might be the first I foul of the game. first foul of the game. This is a pillow fight is there, so is far. There, <laughs> is there a no. prize for that? Well, you would imagine a game like this. The intensity is, is ratcheted down a little bit. It's not going to be quite the same physicality as in a in a section game or a playoff game. So it's not surprising that the fouls are Well, when you get names like here. Mosey and Luffy, it's not really a – those aren't, uh, you know, fighting words. <laughs> Mosey. <laughs> Mosey doesn't make one think of uh, uh, battle, does it? Nah. <laughs> Emma wheels a ball. The only thing I keep thinking here, too, is I hope Luffy doesn't have a brother, Duffy. Is it be Duffy <laughs> Duffy Luffy. Luffy. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to miss the boys, aren't you? <laughs> Here comes Emma. Down that right side, but ball off of her foot. Sorry, we were uh, we had a little <laughs> had a little interlude there. So rocks with a throw. 12:54 left now in the first half. One nothing Panthers. A goal by Maddie Rocks. Swall Noah coming forward. Uh, Playing a long ball sort of across the top of the box, and Milkuzny will come forward to try to pressure that, but cleared long right to Julia in front of the Eagle bench. She plays centrally for Bree, who does a good job checking her shoulder there, so she knows where the pressure's coming from. Lackner right in front of Wittmeyer. Good little oh, flick nice. on. Very nice. Lives in behind everyone. 
to the penalty spot, that shoots off, oh, the post, off the post, and right back to Mosey. Wow, that's unlucky. Uh, Liv, oh. I think, did everything right well, there. You can't buy a goal tonight. Hit a really good shot, low and into the corner, and just off the post and right back at her. Actually, right back to the goalie. Um, but a nice touch there by Emma to put Olivia in, and she was in behind everyone. And luckily for the Eagles, that ball found the post. It was uh, Olivia was going postal there. Room for Olivia on the left we flank again. Another, another break. But it goes through to Emma. Good job getting in behind. Cuts it back. Well, I'd... Falls down and uh, no foul. No, no given. call there. Here's Selip. Tries to find rocks wide, and it's clear to be a Panther throw. Uh, looks like Haley Gans coming into the game for the Panthers for Maddie Rocks, I believe. Throw on the far side by Haley. Lackner forward, uh, left foot. Th this could work. Yes, this, this gonna fall work. for Hasco. Volleys, oh, oh what rockets it off the crossbar. <laughs> oh, she absolutely crushed that shot, but in the final analysis, couldn't quite keep it down enough to find the net. Tomorrow, somebody's gonna have to come and repaint that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or strip a couple sections off because Wow. That that that, that shot was hit. By much. That shot was hit and uh just went squarely off the bar and back into play, but the Panthers couldn't come up with it. So a good ball from Sammy Lackner there to just put it in over top. The 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 back line for the Eagles playing really high and not reacting to these balls that we're putting in through and over top very well. So we're having chances here. Sort of in alone on Mosey, but we just can't we can't fight the frame here. The frame is killing us. It's like they got an extra player on the field. Wide for Gans. She throws quickly. Ball down to the corner. Hass goes there. Cleared out in front of her, so it'll be another throw. Haley Gans on that far side. Throws to Emma right in the corner now. Plays through the defender's leg. Gans to the middle. There's Belak, But uh, Davison was able to get a piece of that, and South Park ultimately clears. Comes to Lackner. Comes forward off the dribble. Wide for Haley, but uh, out of her, beyond her reach and go out of bounds. Yeah, she was I'd like to the see other way. Sammy get a few more touches in this game. We haven't had a lot of uh, play into our back four in the last 10 minutes. Sort of been all our, all Sinclair here. Yeah, everything's been uh, from the 30 yard in. Eight fifty left now, first half. Still one nothing Panthers. Ball off of Sellup on the far side, be a eagle throw. Hasco turns, looks to the middle, cuts it back to the outside, finds Gans wide, but it's cleared out by the Eagles and be a throw. Yeah, Panther throw in. Here comes Wittmeyer, long down into the corner. De La Pair giving chase, she'll get there first. Looking to ride it out over the end line, and it's touched by South Park and be a goal kick a for goal the kick. Panthers. So it looks like Katie Banbury set to come in the game. She's been out with injury for a few weeks now and going to see her first game action in a while. And Maddie Rocks also coming back into the game. Lackner with the goal kick past Milkuzny into Stanley. Touches wide for Wittmeyer, but Davison comes up with it. 
Her pass wide is picked off by Walnoa and it comes to Erdman. Forward off the dribble, wide for Gans. Big tackle on that far side. Be a throw for the Panthers, it looks like. Substitution coming in now, Banbury and Rocks. Judge called it blue and I think he was overruled by Gans that. and Sellup coming off. Here's Lackner with that right foot, plays it in towards Belak. Second ball by Banbury. Trying to clear that last throw of defenders. Oh, two Panthers running into each other there, but uh, they seem to be all right. Here comes Belak looking through for Hasco. Oh, I, I thought that was going to find its way through there, Rob. Ball long for Vitmeyer. Lackner over to take that away from her, though. Sammy says no. Those two were teammates in cup soccer for a number of years. Are not anymore, correct? Yes. Hasco finds Belak in towards the top of the D. Ball comes back to Hasco. Cuts past one defender trying to get down to the corner. Will the ball stay in? It does. Great cross right oh. in towards Mosey. So ball crossed in towards the, mid, uh, the uh, near post and Mosey was able to come out and Smother that one. Good defending from Milkuzny. Erdman. Here comes Lackner. Ball comes to Hasco. She cuts it back towards midfield. Just plays it into Hamill, who comes forward. Finds Banbury. But. Um, Ball comes back to Stanley, who's dribbling forward in the Panther end. There's Lackner, though. Boy, South Park player looking for a call, and that was absolutely nothing. Sammy played that ball perfectly. Yeah, I just can't. Um, we've had the better of the play here for a number of minutes, but I, I uh, here's Vitmeyer turning, defended by Hamill, cuts it back, looks for Stanley, but the ball's off of Erdman, comes to Davison. She plays it wide for Luffy here, coming forward out of that right back spot. She plays long into the area, no one there for South Park. And uh, that goes out for a goal kick for the Panthers. Although it sort of looked like Sarah yeah, touched that I, ball, I, didn't I it? Gonna, uh, they, they, I think they just let that one go. Of course, from here you can't tell, and I'm sure the referee down there can't tell, so. Goal kick from Lackner. Here's Luffy. That's gonna be wide and over the end line, another goal kick. I started to say, I just, I think there's too many times where out of the back or even in through the midfield, we're, we're playing long balls that uh, don't really have a purpose to them. They're just no, they're, for the sake of getting long. And we're turning possession over after we've worked hard to win it time and time and time again. And um, I think we just yeah, need to try to be a little more careful with the ball. There's Banbury battling. Davison comes up with it, cuts it back to the middle. Her pass is intercepted by Walnoa there. Rocks is gonna give chase on the far side. Ball into the keeper, Mosey. Gotta play with her feet and just goes out of bounds with it. Walnoa, long in towards Mosey, but that's gonna go over the end line. So I think in those situations, just a little bit more composure and, and faith in the fact that they can keep the ball, they can possess the ball and pass it, I think it would go a long way to really um, giving the other team fits in that the other team won't see much of the ball. If we're not right. constantly giving it to them, they won't see much of it. 
and and that gets frustrating and, and dispiriting for a team. And at the same time, I think you know we'll have a, an easier time breaking them down and get more opportunities ultimately. Yeah, you get to move them side to side instead of front and back. Just my crazy theory, Norm. Here's a shot from Belak. Again, a little bit wide from about 25 yards out. At least you have a theory. <laughs> I got nothing. So goal kick for Mosey. 145 left in the first half. Lackner forward. Still in. There's rocks on the far side. Be a throw for the Panthers. Man, how many throws have we had over there? That'll be getting close to 20. I have not been keeping track, but there have been quite a few. Real nice article in the Trib the other day about St. Clair Jr. Garrett Blake on the boys team who has an absolutely wicked oh, anything, throw in. Anything inside the 20, it's almost like a corner kick. That's better than a corner kick because he can put it right on a dime. And he, yeah. So the Trib wrote a really nice article about Garrett and how – and How dangerous! To soccer, you can actually be offsides on a throw-in, can't you? You can, you cannot be offsides no. on a throw-in. See, <laughs> that's what I meant to say. <laughs> Under a minute now. There's Wall Noah. Oh, ball over top. Here's Belak. She might have a chance here late. Plays it into Hasco. Top of the D. Lays it back for Olivia. Shoots with that left foot. She'll get another chance with the right, but uh, she was sort of falling backwards as she hit that and uh, didn't get the kind of strike she wanted there. So 30 seconds left now. Without my ignorance, Carrie, think about how many people wouldn't know the rules of soccer out there so <laughs> Rob could explain them. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a team player. It's a public service. I'm a team player. It's a public service here. <laughs> 10 seconds left in the first half. Two and one. So that's it for the first half. Uh, one nothing to score. Maddie Rocks, the goal scorer for the Panthers, will be back uh, for second half action. Okay, and we are back. Second half action. South Park with the first touch of the second half. Let me get my microphone out of the fence here. Ball comes to Hasco. She cuts it back. Forward she goes. Plays through looking for Mokuzny, who was running forward. Ball comes to Selip. She's got rocks wide. Pass just a little too hard for Maddie off of her foot and over the end line. You can listen to the game on TV and see if it made it. It was, what, 30 seconds into the first half. Here comes Wall Noah up to win a ball, but off of her foot and over the far touch line. So Luffy on the far side with the There's throw. The Luffy. There's Luffy. To Davison. And my, my, the rumor has it. This is just rumor, tell you. Okay. That that Miss Hasco. Ball Mrs. to Vitmeyer, top of the area, shoots, oh. and she scores. Jenny Vitmeyer with a really nice shot and a good combination play between Davison and Stanley as the Eagles came forward. And Vittmeyer from about 16 yards out just absolutely buried that. Um, not much Sarah not could do start, about not that. Not a good start to the second half. So, so uh, we're back on level terms with one minute gone in the second half. 1-1 one, one the score. Yeah, it's, this is... Uh, they want to get this back because, again, you know, like I said before, you want to carry some momentum into the playoffs. You don't want to, you don't want to have a letdown game before you, you enter that. Anyway, I interrupted you there, Norm. Yeah, you what, were saying what I was something. saying is that the, the rumor has it that, that uh, Mrs. Hasco is actually her maiden name. She's she's a sister or somebody of the Luffy clan, and wanted the hyphenator name, but they didn't want to have Buffy Luffy <laughs> Hasco. <laughs> and Buffy, that was all Carrie's idea. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> if you're going to anyone's house 
It's Carrie's house. So the last name, it's hyphenated Luffy Hasco, but it put it all together. And Buffy Luffy Buffy Hasco. Luffy Hasco. Okay. Just kidding. Anyway, back to action. And not knowing Buffy, I hope she certainly has a sense of humor. Ball forward for Rocks. Here she comes. Here she comes. Into the top of the D. Maddie there. Run off the ball nicely, though, and it'll go for a corner. A corner kick. For the Eagle, or for the Panthers. I lost my roster, so I don't know who that it's was. Not the that only thing we lost. Ran her off. <laughs> We've lost our minds up here, too. Comes it's like Emma over. Oh, here's the uh, roster. That was number five, Nicole Evans. Good defending there. The corner by Hasco. Drives it into that back post. Oh, Belak was there, but Stanley just headed it over. Well, Noah, ball back in. There's Rocks over her head. And she does get ahead on it, and it's cleared again over the end line. Be another corner kick. Another corner. And Emma is there. Short is on if they can. No, they'll go ahead and play this. Got good traffic in the middle there. Right in the goal. Hasco, the run up, drives it low near post. Headed out, though. There's Lackner. Back to Wall Noah. Plays it all the way back over midfield to De La Para. Now she comes forward long, headed over by Erdman, tries to find Hasco, does rocks off the header, ends up finding her. She turns, coming to the corner of the area. Back nice to her left foot. Oh, nice little pass in for yeah, just, uh, Jordan, but just couldn't. Gordon, Jordan just didn't make the cut quick enough in front of the South Park defender. Mokuzny. Davison. Wide for Hartner. Has Vitmeyer left. Cuts it back inside, does Hartner. And a good shot right good in shot on right McMurtry. In. Sarah says no. Rolls it out to Wal Noah, who gets out on the dribble. Plays it long, but a little bit too far. Mosey will come out and scoop that up. 1-1 the score, 35 and a half minutes left in the second half. Who wants to stay for overtime tonight? Uh, <laughs> is, there, is there overtime in the non-section game? Yeah, there probably would be. Here comes Davison dribbling through midfield. Comes wide, has Hartner wide on this left side. But ha uh, Hamill does a good job defending and keeps it in bounds and rocks, nice plays play. it off of... Evans takes a quick throw down the line to Emma. One defender to beat. Into the path for Sellup. Back down to the end line for Emma, but she had... Uh, a little bit offside. She started her run, run a little bit too soon and was offsides. Coach Durda did not like that call and vocally let everyone know. So... Be a free kick for Mosey. Header by Erdman. Ball to Davison. Far side, Luffy overlapping. Here comes Lackner. Clears long towards midfield, but a little bit of ping pong there, and we're we back. This, this could be something here. We got numbers. Ball cleared back over Hasco's head. Comes to Rocks, though. Flicks it on for Emma. Back outside for Rocks, who continued her run. Tries to get down and beat Evans. Cuts it back to her left foot. Good job by Maddie. Finds Emma there. Knocked off the ball, but uh, uh, by number 27, Patterson was Emma. She sort of got uh, bumped off the ball there, but uh, it's cleared out for a corner. No Rob, you, me mentioned, over. you mentioned overtime. I started to twitch. I was in State <laughs> College over the weekend. So I yeah, really you had four of those. I don't care to see any more overtimes. Here comes uh, Bailey. Although the outcome was good. It's uh, Beaver, oh, there's Beaver a Stadium, Kerry. Ball in the middle by uh, Milkuzny, and <laughs> I'm just going to talk right over that comment. And she comes up with a nice save. It was named after the younger son of the Cleaver fan, Cle Cleaver family, <laughs> Beaver Cleaver. Well, they didn't want to call it Wally Stadium. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> 
<laughs> Here's Erdman forward. This Pasco going to try to keep it in. He's going to have to get there quick and oh, just can't, can't do get, it. Can't get there. A little bit too much of an outward spin on that ball. Good effort by Emma. South Park doing a little bit better job possessing the ball, stringing passes together in this half, but uh, there was a giveaway there. Got some space. Lackner wide to Belak. Cuts it in on her right foot. Has Emma running. Top of the D, Olivia shoots with that right foot. Ooh. Oh, boy. Good shot, and uh, Mosey was able to get over there and handle uh, too much of a problem, but a uh, good effort there from Olivia. It came all the way across the field and got that right-footed shot off. Good work by Bree there trying to win a ball. But Davison comes up with it, goes wide to Luffy. Goes long looking for Vitmeyer, but that's a little too far and McMurtry will come up with that. There's Erdman again. Very nice. Good work by Bree in the midfield. I'll tell you, Rob, these uniforms really, in my opinion, look pretty sharp. It's too bad we can't have like a third jersey that uh, they wear more than once in the year. There you go. There's Sullip down the line for Rocks, but it's going to be a little too far for her. No, it's not. Maddie with some wheels. Keeps it in. There's Emma. Corner of the area. Across for Mokuzny. A little too far for her, though. South Park will be able to clear here. Great job by Maddie to outrun the uh, kick coverage there. And yeah, she caught that ball just before it dribbled over, all the, over the line. Here comes wide left side to Wittmeyer. Hamill out to defend. Jen gets past her. Yeah, she wants to hit it with her right foot, and uh, it's wide of the near post. Would have done better to get down to the end line there. But our crack scouting team. I, I kept thinking Wittmeyer, Wittmeyer. Were they, there, I think there's a golfer in Pittsburgh, a professional golfer, Wittmeyer. I don't think there is. It's uh, Gordon Wittmeyer, yeah. but uh, I don't think there's any relation oh, there. Oh, come on, Rob. Give me one. Just give me one. <laughs> I have to start making it up then. It's Milkusny. Still not many fouls in this game, just uh, one or two really. It's amazing. Eagles forward to Stanley, wide to Wittmeyer. Eagle throw. Evans will take it. Find Schultz in the middle. Defended by Sellup. Here's Wittmeyer. Find Stanley in the middle, but there's a team of defenders there for the Panthers, and they're able to win that ball. Comes to Sellup. Here's Belak. Has a little bit of space in front of her, can carry it. She does come forward off that dribble now. Take it down to the corner. There's a nice, oh, oh just a good idea. Up, uh, yeah, just a pass not, uh, not hard or wide enough. Looks like maybe uh, Ebeck warming up, maybe going to come into the game here. Ball headed down towards the end line, sell up there. And it goes for a throw. Hasco on the throw. Plays it short to Rocks, back into Emma's feet. Cuts between two defenders. Down to the end line now. Off of uh, South Park would be a corner. Maddie's right there, defenders turned. Can go short and does to Maddie. Into the area. Crosses. Davison's there to head it out, though. And a nice job by Hartner to keep that in. Here comes Hasco. Wide to Rocks. Good first touch. 
gets her hips turned, plays it into the middle, but uh, a little too close to the near post there, and the goalie made an easy save. So, Norm, are you up for uh, announcing a playoff game? You know, it's gonna it'll be a first for me, but this whole this whole idea here of, of doing this is a first for me. So, as, well, long, as long as you can withstand my ignorance, I'm good to go. Here comes Megan Ebeck and, Megan and Ebeck. Uh, Jordan Sellips coming off. I know her. <laughs> Twenty-seven and a half minutes left. One-one the score. Panthers need to score. Because we want to go home when this is over. This half is over, yeah, right? We, we do not want half. We do not want overtime. Here's Hasco. Erdman runs forward. Emma cuts between two players. She's fouled, well, knocked down. Foul, but that was definitely a foul. She plays early, finds Rocks down the side, defended by Evans, trying to get to the end line, but just a heavy touch. Be a goal kick for the Eagles. When is the uh, first playoff game, Rob? Do My guess any? is next Monday, but um, don't hold me to that. I think we'll probably know by tomorrow or Wednesday at the latest. Cleared forward. Here's Hasco. Cuts it out to the right. Belak running, lays it down into her path. Good ball there. Belak with the shot. She's defended though, it's knocked down to Rocks in the middle. And shot just too weak uh, to get to the net. And Mosey comes up with it. Ball played long, yeah, Lackner running gonna, onto it. It's not gonna go out either, so they're gonna have to play that ball. She's waiting for it to go. It does go for a throw, and way down in the corner, Sammy picks it up and will take the throw. So the only score of the second half was the one by Wittmeyer, about a minute or two into the half. De La Para battling. Thought a foul should have been called, but none given, and it'll be a throw for the Panthers. Hamill comes out of the middle to take that. Nope, Julia will take the throw. Rocks heads it back to Erdman who just wheels and volleys that towards Ebeck in the middle. Here comes Bailey, shoots from 30 out. Right into a defender. Davison comes up with it, but off of her foot, gets it back, and she was tripped by Bree, and we'll get a free kick for the Eagles. They go long on that far side. Second ball comes to Megan. Panthers are looking a little bit weary up top right now. Here's Stanley, cuts past one defender, but De La Para steps forward to intercept her pass. And Rocks has it, defended heavily and wins, or uh, loses that ball to the Eagles and they play long forward over Wittmeyer's head, over Hamill's head and into McMurtry. Looks like Callie Card going to come into the game for the Panthers. Belak forward for Rocks. I don't think Maddie's going to be able to get to this one. Good effort by Maddie, but ball just uh, ran off of her leg and just going a little too, too far. So Callie into the game looks like. Maddie Rocks, Megan. I think, is coming off. No, oh, no, Megan's coming off. I thought I heard her yell Maddie, but someone's got to come off. No one came off. Maddie's coming off. <laughs> yeah. 
So Megan switches back to the right side while Callie will go in that left side. Mosey comes out to grab that ball that was headed into the area by Emma. Along towards midfield, Milkuzny and Davison, but uh, Bailey got yeah, into Bailey the Bailey got a little bit into the back of the South Park player there. There's Hartner down the side. Keeps it in. Tries to cross, but De La Pere is there, and Hartner really took exception to the defending that was going on there. It looks like she's going to get herself a yellow card. Yeah, she had uh, well, she get a card. She's going to get a little talking to. So the ref stops the clock to give her a talking to. I guess he does. I guess depending on how she reacts to the talking will determine whether she gets the card or not. And the clock starts again, even though the ref didn't blow the whistle. There we go. Okay, so we're going to retake this kick. <laughs> Twenty-one forty-five left. One-one the score. Lackner plays it long over midfield. Header one there though by the Eagles. It comes to Stanley. She carries it across the field and plays Luffy at that outside right back. Back across the field to Hartner. Good job by Megan there defending and. Hartner hit a real she's, hard uh, shot there right in on. She's a little agitated, I would say. Yeah, she's got some adrenaline pumping. Yeah. And I'm guessing she's left footed because <laughs> she hit that with her left foot pretty hard. There's Hasco, good touch, Goes Ebeck wide. Plays it to her down towards the corner of the area. Megan will get there. Defended by Evans, crosses it, trying to find Belak, but it's cleared. Comes right to Erdman though. Cuts past one defender. Tries to get past another. It's taken on a tackle. Great run and pass. Here comes Belak. Shoots there and she is. scores. There it is. Wow, what a great combination. A no look pass from Emma Hasco. As Emma cut to the middle, Olivia made an opposite direction run. That was just great understanding by the two of them. And Emma just cut that ball back. Like I said, no look right into Olivia's path, and she was in all alone on Mosey and finished well into the back post. 2-1 Panthers with 20-45 remaining. Watching it, I think every, every player on the front touched that ball at least once. Yeah, that was a very nice, uh, very nice goal. So good stuff. We are now. Looks like they've sat Hartner down on the bench to avoid the further confrontation. Cat fight. Because <laughs> she is Cat Hartner. <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> I knew I had one in me. <laughs> Here comes number 21, McDermott, Rachel McDermott. Stanley finds McDermott down towards the end line, cuts it back to her right. She didn't want to cross with her left foot. And that's going to be a St. Clair throw. Ball to Ebeck, cuts inside, passes to Belak. She's dispossessed though off the dribble by Schultz. Comes forward and looks for um, it's be a goal kick. Wittmeyer, but passed too far and too strong. Yeah, we need more movement like that goal right there. That was really nice stuff. Talk about movement off a ball and that's what it can create right there. So good job by Olivia. Long shot taken by McDermott. That was fully 40 yards out there and ball scooped up by McMurtry and played over the midline, but comes to Davison for the Eagles. She cuts past one Panther and there's Wittmeyer again trying to hit that one time off a of volley. Looks but like that was uh, deflected a little bit. 
so Sarah could get her hands on it. Ball off of Emma's chest and out wide for McDermott for the Eagles. Back into Evans. Short for Stanley. Changes her direction and pressured heavily by Erdman. Ultimately fouled by Erdman, Erdman so they'll get a free kick. Olivia sending up the side, no one home there. <laughs> okay, back to action here. A little distraction <laughs> up on the veranda. South Park with a substitution. Hard to believe because we're usually so focused up here on the <laughs> action on the field. Number 20, Kylie Tranter. We never did get the cookies. Ooh, that's, little Maradona from Hasco there. Yeah, that's Lays, not good. Lays it back for De La Pera who finds Milkuzny. Short for Erdman. Has Ebeck wide. Tries to play it through for Emma, but uh, that's picked off and Eagles will come the other way. Bailey gets on the end of that. And just way too long into Mosey. Punt by Mosey towards midfield. Card over there defending for the Panthers. Erdman gives it back to the Eagles and uh, they'll come forward down the near side. De La Pere gonna let this ride out over the touch line for a Panther throw. Takes it quick to Ebeck. It's off of Megan and it'll go for a Eagle throw to Stanley. Belak turns. Coming forward off the dribble. Has a lot of room in front of her. Emma is off sides if she side. plays her. Into her path and she is off sides. So no goal for the Panthers, although Emma put that one away quite nicely into the back yeah, post. She but was, She was definitely, we could see that from up here. Yep. <clears throat> Emma needs to do in that situation, rather than running forward, is open her run up and come wide a little bit as she's moving. She'll give herself a little more space. She won't have to stop running completely and allow uh, Olivia a little bit more time to play that ball. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Here comes Ebeck forward. It's like Maddie Rock's coming back into the game. South Park throw, front of the Panther bench. And as the boys' soccer team returns, <laughs> it's like Planet of the Apes on that bus. Yeah. <laughs> it's the victors hath returneth. <laughs> and uh, ball played over the end. <laughs> we can. Uh, what a bunch of buffoons on that bus. <laughs> The pride of Upper St. Clair, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, goodness. 
Ball popped up in front of Erden. We've got 13.45 left here. 2-1 Panthers. Stanley into the middle. Ball cleared by Hamill. Wide for Vitmeyer. Cuts it back into the area. Shoots with that right foot of hers. And that'll be a goal kick. Wide of the near post. If she's going to shoot with that right foot, she needs to open up her hips and get the inside of the foot and tuck it in a back post. But uh, she just sort of drove it forward and was wide of the near post. Or hit it with her left foot. One of those two. 13 minutes left now. Goal kick. Maddie rocks in for Megan Ebeck. Goal kick for Lackner. Hasco keeps that in nicely and uh, earns a throw for the Panthers. Long throw taken down the line. There's Belak. Big bounce. She runs on. It comes into her path, but Luffy's there to clear back towards midfield. Erdman gets on the end of it. Quick ball taken by Hasco. Plays down to the end line, but that's going to go out before Maddie can get down there. Mosey with the goal kick. Oh, Panthers should jump this and do. But second ball comes right to the Eagles. They find Vitmeyer who flicks it wide for McDermott. De La Pera was there defending. Evans throws. And then plays to the middle for Melkuzny. Hamill long forward looking for Card. St. Clair throw. Elena will take this up near midfield. Ball to Davison, pass to the middle, but one by Erdman, flicked on a header by Hasco. It comes Rocks right up the gut, cuts it over to her left foot, has card wide, plays it to her. Callie comes central, Olivia, corner of the area. She cuts it back onto her right foot, has Milkuzny in the middle, gives it to her. Off of her foot, though, trying to get possession back, and uh, the Eagles are able to clear. De La Pera down in the corner. For Hasco, can she keep it in? She can. She Cuts Short it back to Maddie. to Maddie. Good first touch down to the end line. Oh, ball gets away from her, though. That was a little bit unlucky there. Good work from Bailey to get it back. Emma's on sides here, crosses, and that's going to be a corner. Uh, corner. Yeah, see, they're doing a nice job circling that ball around the box, playing a little ring around the mosey. <laughs> I had to get that in for Kelly. That's excellent. <laughs> that was... <laughs> oh. Here's a corner from Emma. The run up, the kick, driven low and hard. There's Milkuzny. Can't get the shot off, though, and Davison clears. Well, no, a long shot into that back oh. post. Mosey's there. Under 10 minutes now. Still only a two to one game and we really, we put some nice shots on the net. Well, for the Upper St. Clair seniors, this is it. The last 10 minutes that they will play in this stadium. Or uh, sit on the bench. Or <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> They're guaranteed to not be at home anymore. <laughs> So uh, the end of an era of sorts for them. And Here we go. the end of the regular season for the Panthers as these last few minutes wind down. Here comes Belak over top for Rocks, who touches past her defender. That was Evans. She'll get on the end. First touch towards the end line. Evans recovering. Oh, Maddie Ooh. tried to cut it back, actually fell on top of the ball, which I think was, was lucky. Uh, she would have hit the ground pretty hard there. I thought it was a great move. <laughs> Long shot from Erdman, well wide, and it'll be a goal kick. The ball. 
<laughs> Substitution for the Eagles. 22, Michaela Tranter back in the game. Davison flicks a header on and plays wide on that far side. Ball to Belak. She heads over and going to go get her own ball. No, Haskell's on it. Here. Comes right into the top of the area. Ball to her left foot. Mosey's out. And Luffy clears. Well, Noah there to win a ball. And out of bounds will be a throw for the Eagles. Eight minutes exactly remaining. Ball in towards Hasco. There's Belak coming out of the left. She heads it on, but a little too far. A little too far. Rocks to Hasco. Cuts it away from Davison. De La Pera wide for Maddie, who'd made a run to the outside. Tries to cut it back inside on Evans, but it's cleared out for a Panther throw. Emma's going to walk over and take this throw. Looks like Jordan Salps ready to come in, one of the seniors. Throw taken, Erdman back out to Hasco, cuts it back to her left. Ball still on her foot into the area. There's Erdman. She'll get it back, heading towards the end line. Good lashing cross, cross to the middle and the Milkuzny's there, but uh, as it was cleared, comes back out to Rocks. But Tranter wins it to Evans and clears up the line. Vittmeyer's there, but beaten to the ball by De La Pera. Into Hasco's feet, I like that pass there. Wide for Rocks, going to the end line, cuts it back to her left. Plays it long back to De La Pera. She wins a tackle, crosses to the middle. South Park's there though and they'll clear, but not out again. Erdman finds it, but it comes forward to Stanley. Cuts past Hamill, but De La Pera had recovered. Here comes Hasco. Here comes Hasco. Top of the area, she's gonna let one go. Back post and does, Mosey oh, just gets just down. Just gets back to it. Yeah, you could sort of tell Emma was just gonna go ahead and have it there. And uh, Mosey just got down to her side quick enough to get her hands on top of that. Ball comes back to Hasco, 30 yards from goal. Cuts to her right. Down in the channel for Rocks who finds Erdman with a pass. Back to De La Pera. She goes long over top. There's Card out there, but uh, Bethel, or, um, South Park got a foot on that. So substitution sell up in the game. Callie Card coming off. So Jordan, uh, I guess will go over to that left side. About five minutes left in the game. Or Jordan will just settle into that attacking mid roll. I think that's where she's going to be. Ball into Stanley. Another ball in the channel for Maddie. She had a lot of opportunities. Cuts it inside to her left. Across for Sellup. But the pass uh, right to South Park, and they're able to clear. Erdman comes back to win another one. 440 left now. Throw taken short to Hasco. Cuts to the sideline. How did she get past those two girls? Not Megs Evans. Down to Rocks. Looking for Sellup. Clearance comes to Davison, though, and she plays forward. There's Lackner with a header right back into the South Park zone. There's a ball for Belak from Hasco on her left foot, cuts it back to her right, into the middle, she shoots and buries it into the top of the net. the net. So that was Belak from Hasco again. Nice job by Olivia, good composure in the box. And uh, yeah, a little ball played in over, over top from Emma and Olivia was on her left foot, 
sort of faked the shot and cut it back to her right and then had all day to just line that up and blast it into the top part of the net. So 3-1 Panthers at this point, I think, no danger of overtime. <laughs> no, let's hope not. Which we're quite happy about up here. Senior night for the boys tomorrow against Central Catholic. And the girls will uh, wait to see what their fate is in the playoffs, who they'll be matched up against. Here's Davison cutting it back into the center for Schultz. Goes wide on that far side. But Walnoa comes forward, wins a ball, and um, gets called for dangerous play. There was a high kick there. So Davison will take this from 32 yards out, 33 yards out. She has enough of a leg to put this on, on frame, no doubt. Davison with the shot, and it's over the net. Goal kick for the Panthers. Gans, Evangelista, Ebeck, Mertz on with two and a half minutes left. Good job, Elena. Good job, girls. Goal kick, there's Stanley. Evangelista plays forward for Ebeck. As Gans wide, but uh, she unluckily falls over the ball. Here's Selip. And South Park plays down into the corner here. Hamill trying to ride that ball out. Wittmeyer pressuring, and it'll be a goal kick for the Panthers. 150 left now. Wagner takes it. Stanley cuts to the middle, finds Davison. Erdman's there. Ball cleared by Hamill. Belak cuts to the middle. Looking for Ebeck, she's there into the top of the area and uh, cleared off of Megan will be a goal kick for the Eagles. One minute left now. Less than a minute. Selip and Mertz there, ball played towards Mertz. She's defending on the outside. There's Wittmeyer turning, dribbling towards the middle. Finds Schultz, forward for Stanley. Schultz again on the ball. Pass to De La Pera, to Gans. In the middle to Mertz. Back to De La Pera, forward to Belak. 10 seconds now, and that'll do it for this game. Here comes Belak down the left side. One more chance, shot from distance, and that's it, and folks. 3-1, the regular season ends for the Panthers. We're on to the playoffs, Rob. And we are on to the playoffs. So uh, thanks for joining us tonight, and Norm, we'll see you next week. Well, good night.